you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think of her Welcome back to another video, or if you are brand new here, what's up? I am Jen. I share all things health and wellness here on the channel. Anything I do to level up my own life, I share with you guys in hopes to inspire and motivate you to do the same in your own life. If that sounds like your jam, make sure to subscribe before we jump into today's video. All right, guys, we have another what's for dinner video coming at you guys. I haven't posted one of these, I don't think, in a couple months, but I want to start doing more of them because I know that you guys always ask. Plus, people are always looking for low-calorie and high-protein dinners, and that's what I focus on. And so just having them all in one area rather than having to go back and like watch an entire vlog to see how I put something together. You could just look. I have an entire what's for dinner playlist. So you could just go through that and watch some and get some ideas and inspiration to whip up some stuff in your kitchen. And you guys know my jam. I'm all about quick, easy, and delicious, low calorie, high protein. So without a bunch of gabbing, let's go ahead and jump into them. The first dinner hits all the markers. It's delicious. It's low calorie. It's high protein. And it comes together really quick. We're throwing it on the black stone which is another plus highly recommend we are making chicken fried rice super easy in here I have about right over 37 ounces of chicken breast tenderloins that I've just diced into bite-sized pieces and I've just had it marinating for a few hours I hit it with some avocado oil spray some coconut aminos and garlic the last little bit of ginger paste that I had and some organic garlic pepper and then for rice I also made this earlier today and I've had it in the fridge for some hours now whenever you're making fried rice you definitely want to cook it ahead of time and put it in the fridge preferably even the day before and it just makes the rice like way better when you are frying it and we're throwing it on the blackstone so it's going to be superb then i have two bags of the good and gather mixed vegetables here with carrots peas corn and green beans and then we're also going to be throwing a couple eggs in there because you can't have fried rice without some eggs in there right i'm getting ready to take this whole tray out to hubby he's going to whip this all up on the blackstone and i'll show you when i plate it up Okay, so we just pulled this baby off the Blackstone. It made this massive bowl. And I get questions all the time about how I measure dinners or how I split them up into serving sizes. Whenever I'm making a meal like this, I weigh out each of the ingredients individually and then I'll weigh the entire dish and then separate that into serving sizes. So I already measured this empty bowl. Now I'm going to measure it with the food in it. So it is 2407 on the grams. The bowl itself weighs 313, so I'm gonna minus that that from this 24 2408 2407 it's going back and forth but I'm gonna minus the 313 from the 2407 and then divide that into however many meals that you want to make it all right guys and there is dinner all plated up doesn't look the absolute prettiest but it's gonna taste delicious this makes an absolute ton we still have a ton left this bowl by itself is 411 calories 47 grams of protein 47 carbs for fat I'm going to also add some of this sugar-free sweet chili sauce this G huge you guys know this is my jam absolutely love it it is five calories a serving which is two tablespoons 30 grams which is what i'm going to put on here so with the sauce it is 416 calories 47 grams protein 49 carbs and four fat and there it is with the sauce on it for 400 calories we have some awesome homemade chicken fried rice next up is going to be sweet chili beef and brussels i think i may have shown this a while back in a what's for dinner video but i haven't showed it in a while and i'm not even sure what video that is in and i want to go ahead and just throw a few different meals in here that are low calorie high protein and don't take like 50 million ingredients and steps and all of that to come together so here is another one super quick and easy we have our lean ground beef here we have some brussels sprouts we have red onion which is optional you don't even have to add onion you could just do onion flakes or you could omit it all together I would normally add either a white or a yellow onion in this dish but I got a bunch of red onions from Walmart that I need to use up so I just chopped one of those up gonna throw that in there gonna cook it in some of this avocado oil we're gonna throw in some of the star of the show which is the G Hughes sugar-free sweet chili sauce If you guys have followed for any amount of time y'all know this is my jam I like adding it on everything so you know this dish is like one of my go-to's then we're gonna throw in some organic garlic pepper because I'm out of my complete seasoning we have some salt in here and just to add some creaminess I'm gonna throw a couple wedges of the laughing cow cheese this is the Aldi's brand the happy farms creamy garlic and 
herb. 30 calories for a wedge. Absolutely awesome, delicious, and they make it so creamy and bomb. So super simple. We're just going to start by cooking down our onions a little bit. Then we'll add the ground beef to it and brown that up. And while we are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the microwave just to par cook them for a couple minutes. So that they don't take as long when we throw them in the frying pan. And just follow the microwave instructions on the back of the bag. Or if you don't want to par cook them, then you can cook them in the saute pan. They'll just take a little longer. I'm trying to speed the process up here. So just gonna par cook these in the microwave for a couple minutes and they'll be good to go. Okay, so I browned up the onions just like I wanted and now I just threw my meat in there. I did end up adding some of this caramelized onion burger kinder seasoning. Love this stuff and also some minced garlic. You guys know me, I cook with my heart just as I'm cooking. If I feel like throwing some extra something in there to spice it up a bit, then I do. And so I figured those would be a great addition to this. Now I'm going to go ahead and brown the meat up the rest of the way. So I've taken the meat out of the saute pan. I just put it to the side here in a bowl. I have my Brussels sprouts, both bags that I went ahead and par cooked in the microwave. As you can see, they're nice and steaming. Definitely will cut down on cook time and make these fry up way easier. So I hit the pan with another little spritz of the avocado oil. I'm gonna brown these up like I want and then I'm gonna add the brown meat back in. I'm gonna add our laughing cow cheese and then I'm gonna add some of the sweet chili sauce. And I know I have shown this little trick here before but it's worth mentioning again because I always get new people. A little measuring hack is you put the full jar on your scale. Just pour a little bit at a time until it gets to the measurement that you need to add. Okay, so I just mixed the beef with the Brussels, turned it down to low. Now I'm gonna add the cheese in just a minute and the sweet chili sauce, and then we're just gonna pop the lid on there and let it sit for a few minutes until we're ready to eat. Y'all, I wish you could smell this. The color and deliciousness is not even coming off on the camera, but it looks beautiful, smells delicious. I've turned the heat off. Now I'm just gonna pop the lid on and let it chill for a few, and then we'll be having dinner. And dinner is done, and it is looking absolutely delicious. I divided it into six servings, so one serving was 303 grams. I weigh all of it at the end, and then I just divide it by however many servings that I want to do, and I wanted to do six servings, so this is one serving which is 282 calories 40 grams of protein 13 carbs and 8 fat and you could add like another veggie or corn or something or potatoes whatever you want on the side but I am just good with this and I will probably top it off with a little more of the sweet chili sauce again you could just add that to your liking you have a super easy low calorie high protein dinner so I'm pretty sure that I have brought the pizza sliders before in a past what's for dinner video but again I'm trying to have one spot where I have my super quick easy low calorie high protein dinners in one video so that I can point you guys to it for a resource to help you get your protein in for dinner. So this is what we have going on for dinner tonight. Literally is going to take a few minutes. I have my slider rolls here. I do the Chompies rolls, which I order online just because they have super killer macros. They're 58 calories for one and seven grams protein, which is super awesome. The fam likes these sweet Hawaiian rolls. The macros are pretty decent on this too. 70 calories for one and three grams protein, but the fam likes those. So that's what I use for them. On it, I'm going to throw some of the Sargento Ultra Thin Provolone Cheese, which is 40 calories a slice and then I picked up some of the Hormel turkey pepperoni which is 70% less fat and it's 70 calories a serving which is 17 slices 4 grams fat and 9 grams protein for one serving and we're going to throw one serving on each of these and then when we are done we're going to hit the tops of them with some avocado oil and then sprinkle some garlic parsley on there pop them in the oven just to kind of melt the cheese crisp the top a little bit and then I'll show you when we plate them up So as you saw, I just split the rolls right in half. I put one piece of cheese. I used the Colby Thin Sargento cheese for the fam because I ran out of the provolone cheese, which is what I put on mine. It'll still be just as delicious. And I don't measure their pepperonis. I just put on till my heart's content. I actually ended up putting 12 slices of pepperonis on each of mine and one slice of cheese. Now I am just going to spray it with the avocado oil, sprinkle some of this garlic parsley right on top and throw this baby in the oven. And 
dinner is plated up and ready to rock and roll. Can we just look at this cheesy, ooey, gooey awesomeness? And here on the side, I just got this pizza sauce. This is a Contadina pizza squeeze. It is 30 calories a serving, which is a quarter cup, 63 grams. And I have one serving there. Then I just have it with some french fries that I cooked in the air fryer. It is the Orida brand. These are the golden fries. They are 90 calories a serving. I have two servings on there, which is three ounces, about 14 pieces, four grams fat, 14 carbs, one fiber, two grams protein. And then I have some Jihu sugar-free ketchup here. Super quick dinner to throw together. It is 508 calories, 37 grams of protein, 42 carbs, and 24 fat. Now you could even make it a little higher protein. I ended up cutting back some of the pepperonis on there, but you definitely could add more so that you up the protein even a little bit more. And because I did a double batch of the fries, just because I'm making up for calories throughout the day, but if you just did a single serving of the fries or even paired it with a salad, that would be bomb and it would make it even lower calorie. With with just one serving of fries, the whole plate would be 418 calories, 35 grams of protein, 28 carbs, and 20 fat. So super awesome, quick, low calorie, high protein, delicious dinner that comes together in no time flat. So I have three massive chicken breasts in here in my crock pot, which I have on my food scale. Now I am simply just gonna add some seasonings and the salsa verde sauce and then pop it on low and let it cook low and slow all day. First I'm gonna add some of this Badia garlic and parsley. Then I'm gonna add just a bunch of this Kinder's Ranch seasoning. And then I'm gonna use some of this medium salsa verde. And I got this huge bottle on a major discount, so this is gonna like last for Forever, but I'm gonna weigh all of this out and I will tell you the exact measurements and macros when it's all said and done. This already smells absolutely delicious. It could not be easier guys, literally. Garlic parsley, ranch seasoning, salsa verde, crock pot, good to go. Last time I made this, I actually made it with uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs, which would be phenomenal because they are like super juicy and flavorful. And I did them in my Dutch oven and it worked out awesome. This time I'm just doing it just chicken breast to have it a little bit leaner. It's set to low for eight hours, so set it and forget about it. Okay, so for the Mexican black bean salad, we are going to use one can of the Great Value Organic Black Beans. You could use whatever kind of black beans you want. This is just what I have on hand. I am going to rinse and drain these. And then we also will be adding some of this Southwest corn, which has poblano and red peppers. I will be draining this as well. And then we're gonna add a little bit of lime juice, or if you have fresh lime, that would be awesome. Some Badia garlic parsley seasoning, salt and pepper. If I had fresh cilantro, that would be phenomenal, but I don't, so we're just working with what we have. And then here I have some organic grape tomatoes and some chopped red onion. We are just gonna simply throw all of this together and pop it in the fridge for a couple hours. It'll be good. say this to you guys but I so wish you could smell this right now. I did end up also adding some of this chili lime seasoning that I order off of Amazon because I don't have a Trader Joe's super close to me but this stuff is bomb. Went ahead and added some of that in there too. Now I'm just going to pop it in the fridge for a couple hours so it can all marry together and just be absolutely delish. Chicken cooked low and slow all day and we just shredded it up and it is smelling and tasting delicious and now we're going to make plates. Okay so I just have to show you guys first First, these are the carnivore crisp chicken breasts. There's two servings in this bag and I am using the entire bag. One serving is 70 calories, one and a half grams fat, zero carbs, 12 protein. The ingredients are literally chicken breasts, water, and Redmond real salt. Like super clean, awesome way to get your protein in. They're super crunchy. Hubby just tasted a little piece. He said they're awesome. So that's what I'm gonna be using as my nachos. Now I'm going to add the chicken and the Mexican black bean salad. This plate is jam piled up with all kinds of greatness. So we have the carnivore crisp on the bottom, 
the Salsa Verde Ranch Shredded Chicken, the Mexican Black Bean Salad, some guacamole, sour cream, and then uh, about 5 grams of these Mexican Velveeta Shreds. This entire plate is 453 calories, 61 grams of protein, 22 carbs, and 14 fat. Super easy to make. Throw it in the crock pot and forget about it. Low calorie, high protein, and absolutely delicious. All right, guys, so that'll do it for this What's for Dinner video. If you guys got some ideas from these dinners or you're gonna try them and you make them and you love them, pop it down in the comments and let me know. As usual, always pop your favorite dinner ideas down there too so that we can all see them. And thank you guys so very much for watching. And if you guys like these type of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps me out and lets me know to keep these coming. Subscribe before you leave if you aren't already and thank you guys so very much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video.